So I'm Brian Freed. I'm the VP of Strategy with SGI. And uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about supporting CAE with Moab and remote visualization. And really this applies to any graphics intensive application. So my goal for this session is really I have three goals. I want to help you, I'm going to tell you how to shed some unwanted pounds. Um, and not so you look like Taylor a lot, and I'm talking about those big engineering workstations that code everywhere. Um, I want to talk about how you can improve your 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 productivity so you have more time to pursue your hobbies. So so how do you, you allow for remote work? And lastly, I'm going to help you um, learn how to save your organization money, and hopefully they'll use that savings to give you a raise. So, although I can't guarantee that. So as, as you think about. So if you think about CAE, there's there's a number of challenges. So my I'm it's a man secure out there. So I want to talk a little bit about sharing large data sets. So there's a lot of challenges that you face when you're sharing large data sets. So first, you have geographically distributed resources. Um, second, you, you, you need high-end workstations to support your engineering model. And, and remote workstations um, can't interact with the, the home base computer. And so in order to collaborate, you, you need to send data over the network or via FedEx. So what you really need is a solution that allows you to consolidate hardware into a central environment, replace workstations with remote co cost clients, or better yet, um, your handheld device, your mobile device, and, and enable remote collaboration preferably in real time. So how can you deliver this? So you know, let's talk about a typical HPC scenario first. So you, you input and submit your job. And then you have to transfer the output to visualize it. And then when you want to collaborate, you have to move that data over a network. So you know, it, it leads to multiple layers of inefficiency as you're transferring large quantities of data over a network. So some of the problems with this model, if you have network issues, not only with the, the CAE applications you're working with, but the, everything that's attached to the network uh, suffers performance impediments when you're moving large files. If you have expensive, dedicated workstations, um, lots of GPU and memory short life cycles. IT management, you're supporting distributed environments. Um, in many cases, tens to tens of to thousands of, of workstations that need to be managed. Sizing of workstation, you really have to size the workstation to the, the largest load you expect to encounter. Security, you know, as you're moving the, this data, you're, you're having to physically move the data over the network or you know, put it on the tape and, and mail it across. So you're, you're moving the actual models around and, and so you lose the security of a, a network. And then lastly, workforce working methods, where we're an increasingly mobile society, increasingly distributed globally, and so the, the need to collaborate becomes imperative. So let's talk about how we can solve some of the problems of this model with remote visualization. So the, the, the solution stack is, is relatively similar to what you're used to. You have you know, the hardware, you either scale up or scale out computing or operating systems, management center. You're running adaptive MOAB for, for your job schedulers, your, your CAE applications, but on top of that, you, you want a remote visualization tool. So you have a web portal with remote visualization capabilities. And in full disclosure, both SGI and Adaptive sell the same remote visualization solution. Um, we're great partners. SGI doesn't care where you get it from, um, it, as long as it gets it's all set up in your pub. So now what does this do to your, your scenario? So you, you still submit the job in the same fashion. You run the job. But instead of moving the data back, you open up a viz session, 
and you transfer only the pixels to visualize. So the, the model stays within your core HPC environment. You're only moving the pixels. And because you're only moving the pixels, you're also able to collaborate with by moving, sharing those pixels at the same time. So what this solution solves, you reduce the requirements on your network. Instead of moving whole models and large data sets, you're simply moving the pixels that are, are being rendered. Cost, you can centralize into a, a single geographic location and see the benefits of you know, economies of scale and, and management in a, in a centralized location. IT management is more simple. Workstation sizing, now you can dynamically size your workstation to see your user needs. No longer does everybody have to have the same big workstation. You can size them dynamically to use your needs. Security, you're no longer moving the models, you're simply moving the pixels generated so the model stays secure within your firewall. In your workforce, it is much more mobile. So you can, just, can view it um, using a, a remote desktop or you can frankly view it using an iPad. A, a couple of workflow examples. So in a, in a cluster environment, you have your local users um, opening the biz session over the WAN. Your, your remote users um, are using the internet for their biz session and, and can, can see the simulations all at the same time. Um, using a, a UV, which is our shared memory system, you, know, you have multiple users, multiple jobs managed by Moab and Job Scheduler. Um, you have the pre-processing. You, you, you run your solvers. You have a, a shared high-performance storage here, and then the post-processing and 3D visualization is, is enabled by our, our graphics here. A couple of screenshots of some of the key tools. So you, you have the web browser that you open, uh, then you have the DCD window. This is actually the viewing window, what you would see on your, your remote client. Uh, and then you have some tools around load balancing and, and network level. And then you have built-in collaboration tools so that you can share in real time with your coworkers. So I told you when I started this, I, I was going to try and deliver three things. I was going to tell you how to shed some unwanted pounds. You know, I, I didn't mean I was going to make you look like Taylor Lautner, but I, I hope I, I gave you a way that you don't have to, you aren't tied to that large, heavy workstation that, that you guys all love. Um, give you more time to, to enhance productivity. You accelerate. You're able to turn models iterations more quickly, so you're more productive. And not only that, if you're out playing a game of golf, you can view the simulation on your handheld device, and so you have more time for your hobbies. And lastly, through consolidation of your server resources and right sizing of your workstations uh, based on the, the user needs, you can save your organization money, and, and hopefully they'll give you all a raise. So with that, I'll open it up for questions. Um, or prizes or whatever is the next piece of it. Any questions out there? So it, it performs very well over low latency connections. So you can actually tune the pixel resolution. And so if you have a very low latency, I mean a, a low bandwidth connection, um, you can actually turn down the pixel resolution. So particularly when you're moving it, you reduce the pixels and then when you freeze frame, pixels reconfigure. Um, so you definitely will get some small jitter issues over low bandwidth, but it, it's still a very workable solution for collaboration. Um, so it's, we use nice remote visualization. Um, so it's, it's, I believe it's a client license. Um, and you can get that either through Adaptive or SGI. We both sell the, the same nice visualization. So the, the data sets are not distributed, so all the remote visualization does is distribute the pixels. And so the, the data stays centralized in the, you know, whatever the, the HPC system that's running the solver and, and the simulations. And all you're doing is sending the pixels it generates, um, so you leverage its, its graphics processors um, and you aren't rendering it locally.